surrender. <clears throat> when you think of the word itself, there should be an experience that the word itself points to. So what does it feel like to surrender? It should be easy, it should be soft, it should be powerful, deep, and profound. You can use your breath. You watch your breath, you're observing your breath. The abdomen opens and drops and you breathe in, and then you exhale as you breathe out. And just watch and witness. Part of surrender is not being active in judging and labeling, but just to watch and witness what is. You can choose to surrender to the moment. You can choose to surrender to something greater than yourself. Whatever feels right to you, whatever feels right in this moment. Surrender is something that's done. It's not something that you do and then you're done with it. It's an active process. Constantly just letting go, letting go, letting go. So we're going to sit and meditate for a little bit with the intention of understanding within ourselves what the process of surrendering feels like. We're much more interested in the experience and the feeling, not in the thought or the word but we need to use the word in order to conjure up the feeling. So use your breath. Watch your breath. Breathe deeply down into your abdomen or into your pelvis. Breathe in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And as you exhale through the mouth, allow yourself to let go and surrender into what you choose to surrender into. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and relax. Let go. Surrender. There is power in surrendering, and it's up to the individual to choose when it's right for them. So you have to decide when you choose to s surrender. It's a very, very powerful practice, surrendering to the moment, surrendering to what is, because in reality that's all there is, what's here. It's our ego and our mind that do not want to surrender, that don't want to fall in line with the flow of life itself. So that decision is up to you. Use your awareness to tap into what it feels like if you, as you feel yourself surrendering to the moment to what is. What does it feel like? What does your breath feel like? What does your body feel like when you choose to surrender? It's that feeling, that experience that you can practice allowing your awareness to understand 
to embody, to investigate, to meditate on, to be with. Just be with yourself in the state of surrender. Witness your breath. Witness your inner state. If your mind pulls you away from the present moment, don't get upset about it. There's no judgment. Just recognize it and bring yourself back. That's what your breath is for to bring you back to the present moment, to remind you that you are here. You'll always be here in one form or another.
slowly, you know, at your own pace. If you drifted off, ask yourself who drifted off and where did they go. But you can bring yourself back. Move your toes and fingers a little bit. Take a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. If you cultivated or felt something that was soothing or worthwhile to you in this class, in the moment, Use that, fan it, allow it to grow inside of you so you can carry it with you through the day, through your life. The mind is a very, very powerful thing. I've got a lot of energy behind it. And it's really important for us as we move through life in the outer world that we look at our life inside the whole inner terrain that we carry around with us. And our society doesn't value the introspection and the investigation of what goes on inside of us. But there are roadmaps that have been left for us over the millennia. So it's important to know and understand the mechanisms and what's going on inside of you and why. If you want to truly understand your experience as a human being, both inside and out. <laughs>